tenosynovial giant cell tumors are a totally different kind of disease where it's benign but super aggressive and patients have said it's just as bad as cancer but it doesn't have the same sympathy uh, uh, so that's where uh, a lot of clinicians uh, throughout europe and, and the us mostly have come together and said we need to have a prospective analysis of quality of life data uh, healthcare data um, of these patients how are they treated where are they treated what's the outcome what's the functional scores etc and not retrospectively but prospectively and this is what has been done so 200 patients from the us and europe have been followed for two years uh, and and we actually need ai to address all of this data because it's so much data but uh, we are looking at all of these outcomes measures separately and have published I think now four or five papers on uh, all kinds of uh, different outcomes within the top registry about pain or functional scores or quality of life and also uh, health-related outcomes um, and pre's. So I think um, all in all, it's a very valuable uh, cohort of patients with a super rare disease where we have learned a lot from, especially that uh, looking at their quality of life outcome measures, uh, multidisciplinary teams can base their decisions better because they. what we see is that most of the decisions that are made are mostly based on clinical parameters, uh, either being less function or more pain or not per se a worse MRI scan. Uh, so that's what we've done internationally uh, coming together there. And I think all of these uh, putting all of these uh, super rare disease specialists together within such a uh, group also made it much easier to uh, communicate on treatment protocols. And uh, I think together with SPAN uh, patients, uh, we have also come together and came up with a treatment policy profile of, of what we think is currently uh, up to date, the best treatment modality for any state of the disease. So I think that's where a lot of it came together and, and, and we made a lot of progression, especially in a disease where now uh, medical treatments are, uh, are being almost a primary treatment where normally it was also uh, always a surgical disease.